The governor of Bengal has given a big warning over the violence that erupted in Hooghly. The Bengal governor has warned, and I quote Mia, will not tolerate violence. After two communities clashed during a yatra, 11 people arrested for the clashes in Hooghly. Governor has said hooliganism will not be tolerated. Indrajit Kundu, my colleague, joins us from on the phone line. But first, listen into what the governor had said. The hooligans and the thugs will be crushed with an iron hand. They will be made to curse the day they are born. Mobocracy cannot derail democracy on the street. We are determined, the state is determined to put an end to this arson and looting. The lawbreakers and their abettors will soon realize they are playing with fire. Let's bring in now Indrajit. Uh, Indrajit, good morning. And uh, a statement from a governor is usually considered very important. Uh, how should one see this? Because this appears to be just an escalation in what we saw in Havda, now Hooghly. What happened and what does the governor basically say? Well, for Vapuja, uh, this of course is a very stern warning coming in from uh, the West Bengal governor. Remember, the governor is of course the center's representative in the state and coming as it is. From him, such a stern message uh, will be deemed very, very politically crucial. Uh, the governor, of course, said that reinforcements had been sent and such hooliganism will not be tolerated. Remember, this is not the first time. Even during the Howrah incident, the governor had issued a statement. But this time, he uh, went on camp to give a soundbite, which means that uh, the seriousness of the situation, you can, uh, you know, judge from it. Uh, and, of course, uh, you know, the governor trying to, uh, you know, impend upon the state government that the situation, there has been an escalation as far as uh, the overall situation is concerned post Ram Navi and therefore there is a need of the hour to rise up to the uh, situation. On ground, of course, Section 144 has been imposed since last night and uh, what has happened uh, uh, in a much faster rate, of course, is that uh, the government did not waste any time uh, to ban internet services in the area because remember in Hara it almost took more than 24 hours for the government to decide on whether to ban internet services in that area to curb the spread of... It's, it's sad news to see. It's sad animals. to see what's happening and unfolding in Bengal. It's important that example is set by the government to ensure no community must or can indulge in violence of this nature irrespective of the moment or the event. Yeah, previously it was uh, over the Ram Naomi Yatra where there was pelting, attack, arson and now this has happened during a BJP Shobha Yatra. Indrajit Kundu with the latest. Thank you very much.